welcome again everyone so in this video we will learn about file pointers which is a very important concept of file handling so do watch my video till the end if you haven't watched my previous video on file handling go and watch it first and i will provide the link in the description now without wasting any more time let's begin before understanding what a file pointer mean let's run a code in python to open a file and read its content now you may argue we did this thing in the previous video absolutely yes we did know how to read file contents but here is a twist we want to read the file contents for two times okay so let's open the idle and run some code first we will create a file object and open a file inside the open function we will provide the first parameter as the file path and the second parameter the file mode okay the default file mode r okay now let's print the file contents Fi with the read function we will print the file contents print file dot read and we got our answer now let's do this for the second time and see what the results would be whoa we got an empty string but why to know the answer of why let's learn something more about files so this is our file whenever python opens a file it associates a arrow with it and in the read mode the arrow actually stays at the beginning of the file and this little arrow is actually known as pointer whenever we perform operations on a file like reading its content this arrow actually moves through the whole content of the file and finally stops at the end of the file and stays here so when we made the first call to read the file content it actually resulted in the movement of the file pointer to the end of the file and in the second attempt of file reading since the pointer was at the end so it returned an empty string are you now clear why we got that empty string so we have to pull this pointer to the beginning in order to read its content again there are functions in python which tells us about the position of the pointer and moves the pointer to any desired location let's learn about them now the first function is the seek function this function is used to pull the pointer to any desired location in the file it takes index as a parameter so to bring the pointer to the beginning of the file we have to give the index parameter as 0 since the 0th index represents the beginning of the file the next function is the tell function this function tells the current position or current index of the pointer in our file so let's open the ideally and apply these functions first let's print the position of the pointer we will do this using the tail function so the position of the pointer is 84 now let's uh, pull the pointer to the beginning okay we did it and now let's see what is the position of the pointer it is at the zero which means the beginning of the file now let's print the contents of the file again and success yeah Congratulations, we did it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that you have learned about the file pointers. If you want to watch this kind of videos more, then without wasting any time, hit the subscribe button and like the video. If you have any doubt, you can always reverse the video or you can ask me the doubt in the comment section. Hope to see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.